Yo, what's going on guys? It is me, Mazram here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can prevent your third party plus plus apps from getting revoked and also keeping your jailbreak forever. So, before we get into this video, I just want to say I am running a giveaway in this channel. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. And also, um, if you are running on iOS 10 or 10.1 or 10.2, then you can do this jailbreak. But if you're um, if you're on a soft uh, firmware that's above that or below that, then you can't do this. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the jailbreak and the the, the video. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Safari and go to this website right here. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. So what you want to do is when you're on this website, you're going to go down to install profile. And you're going to hit on install. Sometimes, depending on what you've done with your settings, it'll come up with enter like your passcode, like your lock screen passcode. Or sometimes it'll just go to straight to install. So once you've installed this, um, you want to go to settings, um, go to VPN, and then as you can see, it will come up saying anti-revoke official. I will also show that I do have it as well. So if I go to, where is it, um, general, data and device management, and as you can see, it's right there at the bottom, anti, the app nation, anti-revoke. So, what we're going to go and do is we're going to go to the PC and we're going to get Cydia Impactor and also show you how you can install the Yalu 10.2 uh, 10 jailbreak. Alright guys, so once you've installed Cydia Impactor, I'll leave a link for it down in the description as well and a link on how to get the Yalu file as well. What you want to do is you want to go to Xcode here. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. So you want to go to Xcode, revoke certificate, literally put in your um, iTunes email login and your password, click OK, and then what it will do is to say you can revoke one certificate. Then literally what you want to do, Again, I do apologise if you can't see this very well. Do you want to drag and drop? Oh my god. I can do it today. Drag and drop the yellow IPA file. Just click copy on there. Type in your email login again and your password. Click OK and it should start installing and it will come up saying complete on the bottom down here. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the iPhone. Alright guys, so once you've um, installed the the Yalu 10.2 file on Cydia Impactor, it should come up at the bottom down here or wherever on your, um, on your app screen. Um, what you want to do is it will say um, go and trust this app. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, go to general, Go to uh, profile and device management. Literally, it will come up on here as your email, so that and like your email address, your uh, uh, iTunes email address. Then you want to do is you want to hit trust. Then, once you've done that, you just want to click on this. For me, it says already jailbroken because I've already done it. But what you want to do is you want to hit go on that. It will come up in 30 seconds time. It will come up saying um, your storage is full. Don't worry, it isn't. Um, just don't click anything, and then it will start. And then it will go to a black screen, and it will respring your iPhone. And then once you've done that, um, you're fully jailbroken. Um, just a note: um, once um, if you do turn your like your iPhone off. You'll have to, once you, because it's, um, I don't know what it's called, but 
anyway, what what you do is when you turn your iPhone back on, you just have to go to the Yalu app again and just hit go again. And that is it. Right. Right, that's going to be it for this video. If you did find this video helpful, please smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, please sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video, guys.